I think that the spirit that drove his curation is really quite uh, amply uh, expressed in the works that he brought to the show, which is an un unusual body of work, because I've mostly seen very minimalist uh, uh, paintings that were all about fields of energy and then uh, kind of serious stuff. And then the whimsy sort of uh, broke on us here with this work. So say a word or two about what you got going here. Well, this is, uh, on the whole, it's, it is about, I see it as about a history. You know, each object has, plays a way, has a way of playing with history and where it, it's come from and where it's going. Um, I could say a little more about that, but the other part of it is I like to use comic, common objects, everyday common objects. They may be common to us here in the room now. They be, may be uncommon, like this, this, these belts here. But at one time, it was a common object in history. You know, you go going back. So the idea of connecting things from the past to the right now, to now, and wherever it might go, uh, and like this bird, it's called up there on the right. I did that in grad school as a part of uh, uh, many other constructions, but time is always a big thing for me in my work. So not only individually am I trying to show the idea of time, which is, you know, time and history go together, but then my own personal history and, and time frame comes from a past, you know, years ago to, you know, the present. So I, I, that's why I even don't like the idea particularly of showing just work that was only just made recently, because I'm trying to set up this time frame of things. So the idea maybe is that this is, uh, this has gone through different, uh, different growths and, shrink and, and, and has shrunk and fell apart and dried out over time. And so I have photographs of this, which eventually the next time I show it, or if that ha does happen, I would show the photographs too. So you can see what happens when it unravels. So again, to me, it's like life in a way. It's, you know, you start from this nothing, somebody puts a rubber band on, whoever wants to contribute, it keeps growing and growing and growing. And when it stops, which did for a matter of years, then it starts unraveling, just like life itself unravels, or your own personal things that happen in life unravel. So you grow and unravel. So that's kind of how, you know, it's, it's how, how those are some of my con concerns. That they, I call this allergy season, and it's just, just the <laughs> you know everybody can relate to it. Whether it's you know everybody knows what they are. They're Kleenex. they you have allergies, or you have a, the flu in the winter time, or you use a lot of makeup. Or, you know, it's something. It's such a repetition. And I always try to keep everything. Uh, I don't want to get too creative with this stuff. I want it to be. Like this here, which is the predecessor to uh, Lego, they're wholesome bricks. Before they had the plastic Legos, they had these. And you, you can't really quite see it, but I mean, the purpose of them is to stack them. So that's all I want to do is just stack them. I don't want to get too creative and make, you know, make things out of them. So that, that's why they're so, a lot of times, just so direct. And then, I mean, I, this, this here, I can, this is kind of interesting, but... Uh, yes, we want to hear about that one. Yeah. <laughs> this is, uh, I mean, can anybody, you, you know what it is, right? Everybody knows what that is. So it's actually a real leopard pelt, you know. A small leopard. Small leopard. You know, part, part of a leopard. We call, we call it a pelt. <laughs> this is like, what is the alley here? It probably goes back, you know, it's not, because uh, now, of course, they're legal even. You can't buy and sell, sell them. you can't go after leopards. But, so at one time, so, so I like it because to me, it actually looks like it could be a painting in the distance. I just like it as a piece. But then you get beyond the surface, like we're getting beyond the surface with all the work in here today. We're trying to get beyond the surface of, get an idea of what is going on. So it's nice that all the, you know, the artists that are here can speak about it, about their work. Uh, but so if you go beyond the surface of this, you know, right now, there are, I mean, I've met people that get very angry over this here, you know, that there's this dead animal hanging on the wall. 
And today, in today's context, you would, most would. But mm, going back in the history of it, over time, you know, it was at one time kept, you know, people warm. It was worn every day by probably our, many of our mothers, for sure, grandparents were, for coats or hats or whatever it was. So, you know, it was a way of life or style at one time, but before that, it was necessity as a way of life. You survived by having your fur blankets. Uh, you know, we're going back to the cavemen now, see. So, so I like the idea of history time and setting up this play, what's, here, what's visual on the surface, and then going, going in the different levels of it. That's how I operate my parameters. So. How did this come about? This is, uh, the, the kind of the stuff is all kind of personal to me too, because it's stuff that I collect and I know. So even if I didn't grow up knowing what that was, although I think I kind of did as a little kid, you know, there was, they, back at, at a period of time, they would have been used a lot, like these, these blocks too. So this is some of it's like my grandmother's from when I was a little kid, and she would go on vacation and get these, uh, they stir their drinks. Swizzle yeah, I think stick. that's it. Yeah. Swizzle sticks. Yeah, we've got several there. Yeah, and so some of the dishes are were hers from when I was a kid. And uh, this the, is fantastic. Yeah, they're pretty great little things. Um, and it's a real garlic. And I can't figure out why it's not growing because usually it grows over the weeks. You know, somebody said it needs moisture, so from now on I'll start spraying them. <laughs> but and, and then this thing is. The little matchbooks, you know, at one time, you know, matchbooks uh, would advertise everything. And the, here's one that says art career. I remember when I was a little kid, I found it on the street. And in the inside, it tells you to write away, and you would get this booklet that, you know, you, you know they want you to come to art school. I don't know if anybody remembers those. And you'd fill in the blanks, you draw the character. Are you put they somebody? They still do that on TV now. They, they still do it? Yep. That's how we got in. <laughs> they still they have draw this character and it's on t on cable TV now for art school you know the art whatever it is art schools of America or something. So same thing but that goes way back in history You're, yeah. yeah so they're, they're all so playful. two things yeah, moving through history and still continuing today do you have a trove of this kind of stuff that I do yeah. It's the first time I ever showed any of the stuff. So that, that kind of motivated the show, for sure. But I do have a lot of it, and uh, it's over the years. I would kind of work on it, build it. I never, it was always personal, something I'd do for myself. And cool. I have a question about the, this piece here. The, how, how far down is the, Kleenex go. <laughs> Are you I mean, you know, it's just, it just would make a difference to me if it were like you'd just keep pulling Kleenex out forever from the bottom. <laughs> we're all hooked up, as opposed to it being empty and then one box of Kleenex or something or. Several Are those unopened boxes down there? Those are used boxes. So, so with this piece, I was just the idea was you know you use one and then you discard it. You're onto the next one, the next one, the next one. But I do have another piece that actually I started where it's going to be, every box is going to have the... Uh, you take a piece of tape and just connect the top one, cut a hole in the bottom, or something. Right, and you could actually videotape the uh, endless... Uh, so the question should be Yes. <laughs>